I was in game, I couldn't hit hang up. Oh, okay, yeah, I was just telling Fire that. I mean, where is it at in the set? Sorry to interrupt you. Okay, man, I really wish we'd have held off on that. They're way ahead on Winner's side. Okay, well... I guess, uh, you guys just finished, just finished doing that, man. And maybe me and Fire will either stream on his or wait for you. Okay. Alright, cool. Yeah, man, what, uh, who won so far? Who's winning so far? Oh, I thought they played a match already. my mic on so the stream can hear me, I guess. Uh-oh, tornado time. Tornado goes away. Alright, dead even pretty much. Are you, you're just gonna wait for your match, right? Yeah. Um... Yeah, it's good to have Fire streaming his matches, that way we get, you know, double the content almost. Yeah, help us out later, too, to make the, uh, the highlights. Yeah. I had one LD combo that I did, like a zero to death, I mean, what ladder up on Dreamland. Do you, like, remember some of these and, like... I'm trying to write them down, but I haven't written any down yet. Like, game this of who versus who at what stock. That's what I'm gonna try to do. Uh, if I see a I don't know, like, honestly, if you and me just wanted to, like, come, I'll help you with that kind of work, man, all day long. Like, if you just wanted to, when you're in the upload or whenever it makes sense, <laughs> stop the videos, I'll sit, I'll watch half or more than half of them. Yeah. Okay. Like, that, watch that, that what I was thinking is like kind of a not brainstorm, but like you and me kind of make our own little list that's going to be a little bit lower standards. And right. We'll kind of like, you know, share them, trade or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Just make sure we got. Like, dude, no offense, man. That was. Awesome. Oh, that was nasty. Oh yeah, I'll let you go. But uh, that was awesome with the leaf last week, right? Yeah, you like but, that. Uh, oh man, like right after the one that you put in the top five was the, like, I angled it so it it was in like perfect Johnson position. Yeah. I was like, oh no, we could have had, we could have I could have done that one, but I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I'll call you right when this is over. And we'll, I'll try to stream you in a uh, fire. I can't deal with Alright, I'll hit you back up, okay? I don't uh, want to stream to like. Hold on, um, get Q involved with you commentating. So me and Tom, like, can you commentate with Q for the rest of the night, maybe? Yeah, sure. Let's see what's up. Okay, there's Q. Um. Oh, 
Uh, yeah, but good games, Q. I was a little salty, had some stuff to say. <laughs> Yo, dude, that was a pretty tight game, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I gotta say, man, my favorite, my favorite move was still, um, that, like, game three or four, man, you threw a falcon punch and, like, my neuron just fired for, it's not gonna hit you. <laughs> Uh, Umbra, man, like, I mean, nah, like, I just, I was like, okay, stand there. You, I mean, I could have shielded easily. I was like, you know, okay, just stand there. And, um, man, this thing was like micro, it was just touching me. And it didn't even connect. I mean, like, the, the crowd started screaming balls. You know, like, people were, women were fainting. Oh my god. Blacksmiths were trying to value my my uh, my constitution so that they could melt it melt it down and make make weaponry or railroad ties out of it. Oh my god! Say hello. How much for a gram of the iron will of stud still? It's <laughs> one tough curvy, dude. Uh, so I'm gonna say it here on Saturday Night Killer Stream uh, first. You heard it. Exclusive Killer overrated. What's overrated? I'm not hating, but uh, Killer is is a little overrated, I think. Oh, I don't know, man. Uh, I mean, like most, uh, you know, people um, that kind of I think have more of the fighting game mentality. Uh, he's very good. At, at hitting buttons and doing things in combination and <laughs> and figuring out you know kind of what moves chain together to have the most dominant zero death combos and, and there's a lot to say to that combined with you know and I'm not taking this away from him, yeah an ability to understand geographical board position uh, maybe not in real time well no in I mean just in a way he's very good at hiding you know in the air and lurking in the shadows. Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, yeah. there's something to be said about that. You know, I, it, I think it makes people overvalue you, uh, skill-wise. But yeah, man. But anyway, so the point is, I don't, I don't know, man. I wasn't that impressed playing him. Like when, when the shit hit the fan, I was pounding his ass. Did you, were you guys uh, <laughs> Kirby? Kirby did it. We did Kirby Ditto's um, seven stocks. We went. I rule first, and I guess I mean he just does the same thing on any stage. He he floats up, he'll catch you in an up tilt. He'll maybe do one more up tilt tops. Um, it's usually just the one. He'll jump up, get the perfect nair, um, float out to miss the last hit, and restart. Uh, until you have some, or at least against my Kirby and restart, do a little more damage and, and get a kill shot in on the next area. So, you know, I mean, yeah, it's very effective, but, you know, when he catches that, he's killing me. He's doing it seven times. I mean, he's winning. Yeah, yeah. But, I, I don't know, man. Like, you know, in those moments when I hit him, I dominate him. In those moments when he's not in a position to run away and down air or to... Uh, you know, catch my bad approach, um, you know, then he loses. He loses every one of those encounters. And, and just as somebody in the game, he loses them in a way it's very clear to me that, I don't know, he had no fucking clue what to do. I follow you. I'll be honest, I have, I have absolutely no Kirby Ditto experience whatsoever. This is different than what I'd say about someone like Cabal. Um, who is along the same lines in defensiveness and solidarity of move choice, um, but has more of a mature, uh, fuller game, where he, he's, he's more whittled down from everything what you should do, rather than just kind of selected a few really good options. Yeah, okay. Um, so a little bit more. I gotta give Cabal some respect. We're salty as fuck right now. I just wanna say Sounds like it. We're talking about uh, Cabal the same as me, right? Yeah, me and Cabal are beefing like hardcore. That's legit. I, 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 can't, I, I, I can't beat him. I can't beat him a single beat. Really? Really. And Man. I think that that's total horse shit. Samus is tough with, against Kirby. Like, I don't know. In my experience, like, Samus has a few weird advantages over Kirby. I'm telling you, man, it's, it's, it's 
it's like I'm, I'm somebody punched me in the mouth, right? And so my jaw is broken, so I can't. So I'm sitting there and I'm like, man, I just can't eat that that turkey sandwich, you know. And I wake up tomorrow and I'm like, man, I just can't eat that turkey sandwich. <laughs> and, and like at some point in time later, man, like they're gonna unscrew my jaw and I'm gonna eat that fucking turkey sandwich, man. There's not gonna be anything in the way. My shield is gonna come out when I hit the button. Uh, you know, she like you said, there's some advantages. You have to be able to shield in the Samus matchup. Um, I think a lot of matchups are bullshit theoretical oh, stuff, but but like from the Samus point of view, a shield is like a free grab or a free like bear. You're warped. You're warped by online, my man. What happens is if you shield a, it, for all you Samus players out there that only play online, here's the fucking business. If you hit at least Kirby. I'm not going to speak for other characters. If you hit Kirby in a shield with a down air, like, the, you know, the standard Samus down air approach, if you do that and you're shielding, they can do whatever the hell they want. You can jump and get out of there, sure. But, I mean, you can start an up smash. You can roll out easy. I mean, rolling takes no time at all. But... We, Samus is pretty good at, at roll, like tech chasing Kirby. Though. Not online when you you're like halfway through the Kirby roll when Samus is on that. Say that they're having a perfect follow. Yes, you're correct. You're gonna have to double roll. But yeah, you have time to double roll easily. But yeah, if you just single roll and they guessed which way you were going, absolutely. You know Samus, right? You, I don't know. I'm just testifying that you have time to double roll. There's none. Also, I mean, how many texts get missed online? I, I can't tell you the number of times he just down airs me five, six times in a row. And that, my man, I love when he gives me advice on that. It's just adorable. <laughs> I think I finally just started saying, like, okay, well, I'm going to go practice teching. You know. That's, or, that's true. But that's why you have to stay in the moment and, and make those decisions pretty quick. So. Say what you want about my game, Q. I know you guys don't give me any fucking respect. I haven't missed a tech since the 90s. All right, like, I, I don't know what to tell you. It's not, it's not, diff it's not difficult for me. I don't, I don't think that, that missing techs is honestly the only danger. I think that Samus against Kirby is just good at chasing Kirby's role. I like, suck. Only because Samus isn't as easily punished by Kirby's um, up tilt as she is, or as she is by like some other characters. No, no, right. Her. Samus is the worst. I mean, Samus is the best, you know, best heavy character in the air, period. Yeah. You know, yeah, absolutely. Uh, Luigi and Samus and Pikachu are the top three escape from up tilt here. It, it's just easy to float off those up tilts and come back down. Well, yeah, her vertical airspeed is shit. Um, she just floats. But I guess, I don't know, man. What, what I'm trying to get at here is there's online warps the game in ways that are... Like, when I go for a suck and I miss a suck, Okay, I'm watching you. 90% of the time, you should continue to suck. And not a lot of people know this. You should always continue to suck until your opponent has indicated that they're on an approach path that's going to get around it. Like, but you... I think it's true that when you when you use suck, you gotta commit to it. But like, would you would you say that it doesn't pay off in the end most of the time? Or... Online, no, because I'm good enough. I, I wouldn't do the suck if I got hit every time I did it and the person didn't get into it. Then they could just run under, you know, they get around it every time. It'd be a terrible option. But the fact of the matter is, if you're good enough at the game, you know, it's not a broken move. You have enough time to get out. I mean, you have to be good. And you have to watch what the other person is doing. You have to know what path they'll take. And if they're going to take a path, yeah, you have to read it pretty early. It's going to get around it. Um, and yeah, 90% of the time, your only thing you're going to be able to do is shield out um, or up till rarely. But yeah, I mean, just I'll tell you, as a fucking 15 year Kirby guy, like, there's more than enough time to do suck and not get raped by people. Okay. Um, but online, so that this is a great example because when I'm sucking, it's purely based on my visual reaction cue. And so there's no way for me to do an in advance. Alright. Like just straight lose two frames on that. But two frames is inconsequential. Oh my like, gosh, get the fuck out of here. For the, for the length of the move of suck, I mean, like. Oh, play melee. What? Alright, I mean, yeah. Q, everybody, proving that statistics can be used to prove any point at all. 
<laughs> so what, what are we saying here that, yes, two frames is a very low amount of time compared to the length of the sun? Maybe, maybe I'll give you the point, like, in the context of playing against Captain Falcon, that maybe that's a slightly bigger window, but... It affects the time on, on, on well, I... Honestly, man, again, I'm just gonna go with get the fuck out if you're gonna be talking about two frames being negligible. I I think it's I I think it's pretty inconsequential, yeah. Alright, we'll agree, we'll agree to disagree on that. <laughs> I mean for that move in general, I think so. For other moves, two frames might make a difference. Yeah, here and that's, there. that's my point. For you children out there, I have a dream that, uh, that one day, you know, like characters can just play with other characters and not get my mind like this. You don't understand the systemic hatred against Kirby, man. Oh, people, I understand it. Kirby's people the devil incarnate. People can ponder how, well, two frames doesn't really matter to Kirby. No, for that yeah. move. Like, for, like, up till it matters, but not for inhale. Yeah, yeah. Not as yeah, much, yeah, yeah, at least. Right, right, right. Systemic and, 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 and calculated. I mean, who, how many people do you really see using that move as much as you do? <laughs> You're right, man. Kirby is, is an all, like underdeveloped You're breaking the meta tell... on the up knees and the inhales, dude. Yeah, here's another exclusive. <laughs> Hi guys, Chris Dudstill, never fucking wrong, know what I got him talking about. <laughs> Kirby is an under... With you guys with your bullshit tier lists and matchups, right now you undervalue Kirby. I don't undervalue him, he's sorry, did the devil, go and he's really good. Did and I hate him. Did anybody Apex this year? How many Kirbys were in the top 8? How many times did people play Kirby? Uh, and win. I don't know. I don't think Kirby does well in the tournament scene because of how, like, I don't think that's one dimensional he is as a character. In the intellectual scene, what do you mean he doesn't do well in. The, what are you saying that's not what I just said? That he's under I mean that I think Kirby isn't underdeveloped. I just think that if you take, like, the design of the Kirby character, it's almost like he's an example of, like, the game creator's idea of. Oh my god. Like, like, I mean, oh. Sakurai <laughs> did create that. Kirby before like, like Smash Bros. Jim Crow if the game Here we just, go. Like, had to like introduce the idea of Smash to like a player, then Kirby would be that character. Much in the same way that people fear American black males, this kind of there's this <laughs> there's this fantasy that Sakurai, you know, like who cares that he's he's top three video game designer developer, you know, of all time. That he, like single-headedly more than anyone else deserves credit. Is he really top three? I'm saying he's top three. Is a guy that's played video games for 30 years. Him, Masahiro uh, Kobayashi. No, no it's like Shige, no, it no, no, starts no, no. with an S. Shigeru Miyamoto, right? Yeah. Right, right. Yeah, something. him in number one, and I don't know some. I think Hidei, the Kojima guy. Hideo uh, Kojima? I yeah, is, that guy. He's not have legit. any rights to sit there and say that this man, by what all arguments is a balanced game, that he somehow had some hidden fucking agenda. I mean, he did create Kirby. <laughs> you know that, right? <laughs> what are you touch? So what, man? <laughs> I mean, th that's that's uh, some evidence to prove that he may have had bias towards Kirby. <laughs> Put the tin foil on the baking pans and not on my head. <laughs> but you have to admit he could have. I, okay, if you created a character in a video game and then this other fighting game comes out and your character's in it, wouldn't you want your character to be really good too? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck everything I know about game design. Fuck the fact that I have a record of like developing awesome and balanced games. <laughs> I'm gonna throw all that out the window because. I can't even walk any further down this road. That, I want to add Matt to this call. Kirby killed Kennedy. Yeah, right? add Matt to the call. See if he picks up. That'll be a first. Kirby was the was the third gunman on the grassy knoll. He was. He Might was. Have been the fourth. He shot Kennedy. I heard. I think he took down the twin towers as well. <laughs> I heard. Not only did he take down the Twin Towers, but he framed Muslims to do it. Yeah, I think he funded uh, Bin Laden personally. I mean, I don't know what to tell you, man. All of this sounds just like standard issue. I don't know, Kirby's man. Kirby's the head of the New World Order. <laughs> Alright, are they done playing yet? No, it's game four. Killer's up 2-1. They're on Dreamland. It's tied up 3-3. How is it 3-3? Three, three? 
three stocks to three. Game four. I was about to seriously doubt your ability to help me administer this turn. <laughs> Good chat. Umbra, save that audio, man. No, oh, it's saved. <laughs> yeah, no, we'll, um, we'll go. That's, that's good. Who doesn't know about that? I'll pull it in later. <laughs> um. But yeah, I think you guys are just, you're just fucking mad. Start great. I think I played 50 games yesterday, and 35 of them against, were against Kirby. Well, you know, I mean, it's fairly cold today, so I think that climate change is horseshit. <laughs> Man, that's... Also, I have about two hours of evidence that I don't need to eat to survive. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Damn, tied up again. This game is close. Yo, somebody link me this shit. It's twitch.tv umbra and OTI. I can uh, stop. What? I can um, stop a speeding bullet once. Twitch.tv slash what? Umbra? Uh, Q man, so if N -O -T -I. you just go to, if you just go to advancedbrackets.com, you know, your one stop shop for all your Smash fucking needs. Um, and click on the in progress stream um, tournament at the top. The stream is just linked to it from there. Oh, okay. I gotta favor that shit then. Yeah. This is a nice stream you got going on, bro. Wow. Is it super generic black sides? You know? I mean, I mean like the resolution. Is oh. Pretty good. Uh, it's a 540, but you know, the game's only 480. Oh yeah. That looks, that looks good. Uh, oh yeah, we'll work on that for sure. Why not? Can you move the names to the outside of the picture? I can. But I don't want to do it right in the middle of the match. Dude, that's like my eternal beef with Umbra. Is wh where the fucking name should be. Right underneath the percentage is probably the best. Yeah, I just don't like how it looks. I like it. You know what, Umbra? I'm gonna get you the font. I'm gonna get you the Smash font. Okay. I mean, I have it on the website, I already found it. What's, what name is it? I don't know, you, it's actually fairly difficult to find in the beta, but... Man, Shears playing really defensive. Sorry, the warrior. Oh, that's Shears? Sheer it madness. is, uh, Sheer Madness, allegedly. Oh, Sheer Madness, okay. Which, I'm gonna have to beat Fire Blaster, because I want to crack it. Yeah, I want to get to Loser's Finals, too. So. I'm pulling for killer here. Well, I can take Umbra any day of the week. Yeah. Her to her first. Although, hopefully, hopefully you win, so we can find out. Yeah, I think Umbra is coming off a win, though. I think she beat me about two or three times. Alright, game's but... over. No. Killer 1, 3 1. Okay. Alright, let's go to Foo. We got a good loser's bracket here. Umbra, are you gonna host? Yeah. Alright, um. Fire Blaster's probably gonna try to stream it himself. No, uh, he's down to wait. Hey, we're, we're streaming you and Fire Blaster, right? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. I always put B, a capital B for Fire Blaster. That's what I always think it should be. But it's not. Q, do you want to come in here and commentate with me? Yeah, alright. I could try that. Yeah, do it, man. But don't reset the whole game just for me. No, it hasn't started yet. Okay. Oh, we were uh, we were totally waiting for you guys. All right, hold on. Let me um, post this to uh, Facebook and whatever. Okay, so I'm only behind by about 
or the stream is only behind by about maybe five or six seconds. Right, but you'll be in real time. Yeah, you'll yeah. just be just yeah, you know, just stop the stream. All right, join up, stud still. Yeah, one second. I'm coming. I'm coming. Do you want to be in the call while you're playing? Is that no, gonna I'm going to hang up when we get started. All right, you're the host, hey, uh, so I'm going to have to recall. Just end, the, just end the call right now so I can recall you back. Okay, what's up? Just re-hosting. Rehosting the call. So I finally found out what was causing me lag. It was because of some audio driver I was using in my Project 64. It was, it was causing um, game lag. Yeah, it was causing me weird like frame skipping lag. Like it wouldn't register as spikes. It would still say zero. Yeah. But it was choppy as fuck. Weird, man. So now I just use the little Jabo 1.6 audio driver. And oh, that crazy. looks so legit. What? Oh, man. Um, check this out. And like my page. Can we just play this game? <laughs> yeah, we're coming, we're coming, we're coming. I'm coming. All right, there we go. Yeah, yeah. Check out how the uh, Super Smash Bros. link looks in, like, Thumbnail form that looks ridiculous. All right, I'm loading up. I'm coming. Tell them I'm on the way. I'm hanging up on you guys. You know, let me. Yeah, sure. Let's let's see if this might be the first game where Chris does still gets a little bit of respect. It's it's you and Fire Blaster. It is me and Fire Blaster. Good luck, guys. Thanks for doing this, Q. Thanks, man. Good luck to you. All right, Fire Blaster's number three. Stud still is number four. Free ball! Fox! I'm Fox! Fox! God, seven stock. No, five stock. Uh, this is a best of three. There you go. All right, we good. Should be good. I play the winner of this match, so hope Stud still wins. That'd be really funny if he does. I mean, it's possible, I guess. I mean, he beats me every once in a great while. Yeah. When I dick around, or whenever he doesn't like try to suck me. That's all he's got to do, and he's actually not like half bad. Yeah. He just throws out a bees and bees all the time. Yeah, just use down air more. Yeah. Back air. Neutral air. High rule. What? Yeah, let's do let's do high or dreamland. Yeah. I think dreamland is like accepted the accepted first stage. Yeah, should be. I agree. Fire's letting him decide.
Done much after that. But... There's the rogue tornado. The fire blaster hates. He's giving him a lot of space. He's going to go down to the raid tent. <laughs> Trap him in there. Wall of fire. Ooh, a little oh, nice shield. That's a sick shield. I'm gonna go crazy if I'm not in this call. <laughs> Mario because he says it's I definitely lost that one. I don't know what happened. That's the only reason he was disputing Dreamland is because he wanted uh, Mario and Hyrule so he could get their fireballs at. Yeah. Yeah, but it doesn't matter because, again, the, for too long this has been considered a, a strategy that worked. What, having projectiles on a big stage? Yeah, it's, 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 it's ridiculous. It makes you predictable. It, 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 it deadens your, um, I don't know, blood rage. Um, and maybe you guys Wait, don't consider these. What was that word you just used? Uh, blood rage. Oh, you blood rage. Okay. Yeah. That's what I thought you said. Oh no, he got me. Not yet. Oh, oh sounds so unfair. Uh, all right, I'm gonna come back. Yeah, this is so much fun, man. Just playing, playing guys like Killer and Fire Blaster are really, really you gotta crazy. Take a stage. <laughs> Subtle brilliance of their repetitive defense. You should be able to figure it out. Oh, I'm gonna kick his ass. He's right. weak. Oh. Yeah, that guy Grapple Thug was giving him a little bit of uh, trouble. Oh, nice grab. Oh, I missed it though. Oh, what? And then the rollout! I think I would have forward thrown there. Nice DI. Yeah, I'm not going to keep balance on this thing. Fun fact for the viewers that kind of edge DI isn't real DI, it's just a single input. So you can theoretically, uh, what do the kids say, buffer it. And um, if you just hold it, you will get that wall bounce, assuming you're in the correct spot. Now, some people make the argument that if you're not in the correct spot, you're going to have to DI over to the correct spot, and then, sure, it's just a single input. Um, but interesting stuff, you know exactly how it works. Okay. You guys know that? Uh, no. I just I oh, yeah, fireball pwn, bitch! But I couldn't roll out of the tornado. I don't know what he was thinking. I know Kirby was thinking tap up smash home. I don't even know these two characters. And I'm already in the final of this game. Oh, okay. Oh, God. Oh, at least he's playing now, though. Nice to be playing for a second, though. You gotta do that. Oh no, that was bad. Okay. Uh, 
Yeah, well, that was fun. Yeah. Whatever the hell that was. All right, well, that last that last stock was good. Once he gets a lead, he'll he'll play a little bit. So that's. I guess I'll pick Dreamland so that he'll fight. Is he gonna complain again? God damn! You gotta let him know what stage you're picking before you pick it. I'm changing this fucking rule tonight. No, these are tournament rules, stud. I don't yeah. give a shit. There are no tournament rules. There's there no are tournament rules. rules. There's no governing authority that covers tournament. This, this the agency you're talking about does not exist. No, it's just like standard manner, dude. You have to like you have to no, communicate these things. Manner. It's not standard. Where where has it been defined as standard? All right, maybe you'll see that it's standard the more you go to tournaments. I'm just telling I'm, you right I, now that this is something that you need to accept. I'm 30 years old, dog. I don't know what to tell you. People, Yo, I'm only three years younger than you, and I don't care how old you are. It might mean convention, or I don't know, like it's not some standard set by an agency. Something. There's no governing body that says these standard rules, no, but there's a lot of organizations that use the same rules. Yeah, I'm just yeah. telling you, it's my tournaments and I make the rules. Man, that doesn't work that like that, stud. It, it does, though, actually. No, it's, and you shouldn't look at it that way either. You should alter your view. I don't know, man. I don't have any, well, okay, why? It's, uh, I'm not in the habit of doing things. Just why? Because it's fair to all the players that you play with who, you know, that you're so what's, expect what's, to come. All right, how is it more fair to pick the, no, it's an advantage. It's not an advantage, and it's certainly not more or less fair. It's just standard manner. I don't know, man. Well, I think Follow it's... the formula, or you won't be like you won't be respected in the tournament scene if you don't follow the the like the unsaid rules that go along these things. I don't give a it's shit. Not, about it's, respect. Not, it's not a complicated thing. Yeah, I don't know, man. I guess I just don't understand your argument. That's how it. It's, it's not better. an argument. That might be why you don't understand it. There you go. I just, I don't like people, like, I just don't, I don't know, man, people make it a real big deal. It's not a big deal, dude, it's just communication, man. Like, the official rule in my tournament is, like, just pick the fucking stage. And no, pick. that doesn't, that's not a rule, you don't just pick the fucking stage, you have to yeah, counter pick, because he has a chance to counter pick. I don't, I don't agree with any kind of this counter picking system, I think that's stupid. I mean, it's, the only thing that's different is in Japan, but, and it's not really all that much different. Alright, good luck. He's not on the call. <laughs> Alright. Yoshi. Yeah, I'm sorry that that's all on your screen now. I wasn't even thinking about that. No, it's fine. Yoshi. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, nice catch. Okay. Damn. Still had a jump. Kills well, wow, I was like two or three percentage away from killing. Yeah, you got lucky there. Yeah, he lost his job. Man, the hard, hardest of reads. Which one? The suck on that platform. Oh. <laughs> Yoshi's power is so pointless. Yeah. What does uh, Kirby spit out? Is it a normal Yoshi looking egg? If he has I Yoshi power? So. I don't- I have not even mentioned I don't remember. I've never- yeah, I don't remember ever seeing it, so... I think it is. Oh! Ah. Uh, oh man, he's in this area. Ooh, oh, nice. Nice egg was, break there. That was really smart. Yeah. I have to think about what character I'm going to have to play against Fire Quest. <laughs> well, if you, if you had to go against Dusta, who would you use against Kirby? Fox. Yeah. 
I'm probably just gonna play Fox the whole tournament out. He's your main? Yeah. Who's your second? Falcon. Makes sense. And then third just Ooh. depends on the day. Yeah, could yeah. Could be Jigglypuff, could be... I don't use Jigglypuff that much though. Yeah, yeah. He's... I use him... I don't know. I use Pikachu at least. I don't know. Between like... Pikachu, Donkey Kong, and Luigi. Yeah, I would agree with that actually. I I I probably play more Donkey Kong and like Mario and Luigi than I play like Kirby and Pikachu. Yeah, I play Pikachu. I play, I can count. I probably play Pikachu online maybe less less than twenty times. I Damn. Don't say ever. So that still will be updating the rules later <laughs> to help him out. That uh, yeah. That's so dumb. Alright. Well, I, I guess I didn't have to leave, but oh well. Because then I'm going to be playing. Yeah, it makes sense. Alright, let's update these names. Fire Blaster. And... Was that... Oh, is that three already? Yeah. Or oh, those two. Best but out of three. Best out of three, three, yeah. Alright. Is that still gonna be in here? Oh wait, my name's Sean. Alright. Yeah. Is he coming back? Asking. Is he still in the call? No. I'm gonna add him. I guess he's yeah, in I'm the just, room. Just, there we go. Him. Hello. There Yo. we go. You gonna cast with Q for my game? Yeah, sure. Alright. Is he updating the rules? So the people are going to have to pick their character now before the stage is picked? I'm going to figure out the exact order that everybody has to do every single thing in. Alright, what room is it? Umbras? Yeah. In my mind, it can go on forever. If one person wants to change their character and the other person says, at my mind, there is no point where you can say to the other player, no, you already picked something. In my mind, that spot does not exist. All, all decisions about stage and character happen at the same time, and then the game starts. Do you As understand you why those rules exist in tournaments, though? I, I understand how people would decide to do it that way, uh, I yeah. guess. But well, honestly, I bro... The biggest reason to implement a rule like that. But honestly, bro, the way that I understand it to be done is the way that I just said it. That's why I believe that. I think that that's how it should be done. So then there could be a stalemate, pretty much? Yeah. Yeah, I know, man. I'm, I'm sorry, but I don't, I don't and view like... These matches could rules. go on forever. I, I mean, uh, if if I was say going to play against someone really good and they picked a character, I would just say I'm gonna pick another character every single time. Yeah, me too. And then that way I'll get a tie with that character with that player. No, man, it's just people loss. that again. It's these people that for one reason or another, um, I don't know, man. They like enjoy this kind of like meta idea of tournaments and competition in a way that's detached from the thing you're actually competing about. I don't, I'm not sure if I understand that, but I do think that those rules exist in tournaments because of the interest of time involved and how... Well, see, maybe what you're not understanding is I object to, you know, I'm a very literal person. Umber, if you gotta go out of this call, that's fine. Uh, All right. You should host the call. Yeah, y'all just re-host the call.
I can't, well, I, but I you won't be able to be on my stream though, so. Right. Although I, I do kind of want to hear your thoughts if you have any. Well, Umber will be playing. I'm just going to turn you guys down a little bit. Yeah, I'm well, we're lagging a little bit. We're lagging down. That's fine. Alright, we'll postpone that for later then. Now I'm going to see Fox vs. Mario later on. Yeah, I don't get to see Umbra vs. Uh, Fire very often either. You get to see Fire Bass or Blit out. <laughs> Alright, both players going a little too far on that one. I don't know, man. I guess we're just gonna wait and see if Fire Blaster feels like killing him. Um, yeah, I mean, with Mario's kind of air dominance, um, you know, Fox is going to, I think of Mario as like Yoshi Light, man, he's got these, you know, post-game moves that last a while and have pretty decent hit points. Sorry, I'm going to pass that. Sure. He's just slacking off. I mean, there's, there's no, you know, like that one in particular, he really wasn't getting the hit with it. Really no reason to be so vulnerable. Uh, as you said, not drop down to the lead. Yes. Like so. Oh, nice. Going with the F smash. Screw you, LD. for the extended up B, I think. Well, I mean, you know, like a, like a single car accident, you never really know. I mean, was it a joystick error? Or was it the fact that... He... No, I know what he went for. He went for the extended Mario up B. Yeah. And he just missed it by a few frames. Well, right. You know, was it, was it, no. So, in, technically speaking, yes, it was a joystick error. Now this is going to be a lot harder. Just 
calling, just calling it. Oh no! I, I don't know, man. I'm <laughs> trying to stay non part but yeah. Don't yeah. forget me. I don't want to do anything. I don't want to win. Oh, man, that's a little, that's a little out there. Who's side you're on? I don't, I don't, I don't, I'm on the side. Like, great, great job, Good choice to stay there and not kill yourself as well. It's like, very, very good, very good. Never saw him. Very difficult. Yoshi gets such an advantage on line from the shield. Oh, that's painful. <laughs> Man. Somebody do the Heimlich. I don't think I had a choice, though. Yeah, I think I up till kind of because we were. You saying that you would have become vulnerable? Yeah, I would have been hit for sure if I hadn't have. I don't. It up. I agree. By a lot, I'd say. Damn, really? Yeah, I don't know. When I was when I was watching it, I was like, wow, no reason for I mean honestly, man, I think it's the I mean you like worry about that, right? I think you might be worried you're saying celebrate it primarily. Stays curvy for round three. I'm sure what cute means by that, but Oh, wait, you're in this game, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> Senior moment there. Bro. Uh, well, I don't know about you, but I'm going to run, bro. I'd like to see uh, Fox beat Yoshi, I'm not gonna lie. Allow you to hide, distract your opponent with more movement. 
That's why you should have unlimited chances to hide, right? So... Well, I think people should play with one character for their entire fucking life. But obviously... I mean, anyone that wants to join the church of SSB is free. To do so. You know, if you guys want to like... Nice. Oh, man. Yeah, I'm back on stage. Yeah, very... Nice like, egg. I have to go egg, Sky. Oh, Umbra, you had the momentum on that one. Though. died just now, that, that recovery with the egg time. You know, I didn't see a moment where, you know, he did something poor, where he did, there was something better he could have done, or, you know, he could have made better out of the it's hard to... The egg definitely removed a few of Umbra's choices there. That was the yeah, absolutely, and I mean, it's, it's hard to fault Umbra being killed by fire. That's awesome. I'll the players have a ton of friends. Nice to you, See, that time... I don't know. That would have been close, because we're just at the end of the move. I still think that you should just never get up. It's always longer than you can get up. I don't really edge on, though. I think it's...
Good effort. Jeez. Huh? Jeez. <laughs> last combo was pretty wack. shit on your mouth. Right. But Q, I, I would just say this to try to help you understand, man. I want to give every advantage to the um, the the weaker player in any matchup, you know, to a limit, um, to where it doesn't actually, it's not too much to overcome. And this is not so much from, from video games um, as I, I'm very familiar with uh, primarily pool. Billiards, and there's a very complex handicapping system that is, you know, just based on arbitrary bullshit. Also, but um, I just, I don't know, man. In my mind, I want the weaker player to pick the stage, and I want the weaker player to pick his character, um, you know, in response to the other, the other guy. So but you want the weaker player to be able to pick the his opponent's character? Is that what you're saying? No, 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 no. Uh, just to be, to have, the, we're, we're talking about knowledge advantages here. Like, who gets to make their choice with more knowledge? Okay. That's all we're, that's what we're actually debating here. Um, <coughs> right? You know, the advantage of, of knowing what the stage is when you pick your character, the advantage of knowing what your opponent's character is when you pick your character, etc. I really want to add Matt to this call. Dude, try to add him. I've never heard his voice. Anybody. I don't think he's oh, a real wait. person. He's a real person. I've talked to him. Not like with his voice, but I've I've been in a call with him many times. Like in Skype call? Yeah, yeah. Oh. He picks up. He doesn't talk. Oh, he doesn't talk? No, no, he types. Okay. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I don't, I've never, like, he says on his Skype profile, it says he's 52, and I believe it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'll, I'll hear objections. Here's how it's going to be going forward. The first thing that happens is the uh, higher ranked player picks their character. Then the lower ranked player picks their character and the state. After that, yeah, um, people after are that, probably not going to do it that way, right? Well, let's get to that in a minute. Let me just finish the rule. <laughs> after that, um, Know, I'm just crazy. saying that it's done differently everywhere else. Q man, but... I don't know how to tell you this, bro. I don't I don't want to say what I believe I should say to win this argument. I, I liked you when we met. You seemed like a very principled, intelligent <laughs> guy. It's never so been I... anything personal. No, it's not about that, but I, I, I it seems that the point you're advocating now is that I should just blindly adhere to some set of rules. Not blindly. That I should adhere I mean, to You have to admit, they, they make kind of good sense. So do my rules, thank you. I, this is all arbitrary. How? I'm not the one acting like my rules are somehow independently have priority over some other rules. That's what you guys are. That's the position I'm arguing with. I'm saying judge these things in their merit. I don't care if everybody jumps off a fucking cliff. I mean, if that's what to do, that's what to do. But you're going to have to have a convincing argument. I don't know, man. I don't eat vitamins. How does... I mean, just explain to me how picking their character before you pick the stage helps, like, make it more balanced. Because we want a balanced tournament, right? Uh, no, 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 no. You're, again, you're, you're getting into, like, designer... No, no, I'm just asking, like, do you want a balanced tournament? Basic question. No, what I, what I mean is... Okay, just answer my question. Yeah, I know, but do you I mean, want a not... balanced tournament, yes, yes or no? Yes, motherfucker. Okay, and explain how balance. your rule makes it a more balanced tournament. We're not trying to balance the tournament right now. We're just trying to figure out, due to player dispute, how to assign a direct order to what happens so that two players can pick their characters in a state. This isn't about balancing the competition. It's just about determining a direct order. Now, if you want to say that balance is a goal, fine. 
but the point is to pick an order for the shit to be done in. Yeah, and the order should be pick stage first, pick character second. Okay, that's... It also should be the other way. What's your reason? Because some characters are better at, than other characters on certain stages. Yeah, if a, if a player picks, picks Ness and then another character, like, say that uh, Saffron, Saffron City is legal, like, picking that order obviously puts the Ness player in a terrible position. Without getting into complicated theoretical the, But the theoretical things are what you should base these decisions on. See, 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 that's fine, but you don't have to stay in that realm. Very, very Again, look, not getting into that, what you guys are trying to say they were saying is that you have to know what stage you're on in order to pick the character. Yeah, that makes sense. So see how we took that from these theoretical into the concrete. It's much easier to like make things in the concrete. Dig me? Then, then you would just pick a character that's better on all stages then. I don't know what that means. But what, what you're saying is that you, you, you guys are saying that people or players in general want to know the stage in order to pick a character. That's just the way people think. They go, what stage? Okay, then I'll be this character. Exactly. To, to, to reaffirm my point from earlier, you see how, like, that's essentially the same thing. I don't know what you mean for Umbra, when you guys just say, like, that's the standard, that's the way it's done in tournaments. The way I think, that's just what people say when they don't have anything else to say. Now, if you want to say, dude, look, I don't know, most people, when you say, players want to pick the stage first, then, then that's not some standard or some convention. That's how people think, so it's got a reason. They, they have a reason of choosing their character because they know what stage they're going to be playing on. Right. They're not, they don't want to do it that way because some tournament rule says to do it. No, that. it doesn't have anything to do with tournaments. It just has to do with gameplay. Exactly. That's, that's my other sub. Okay. I don't know. Yeah, right now. Did they did they both agree to shit? Yeah. Wow. Well, um What? It doesn't picked. matter who agrees. All stages are legal. You need to read the rules, bro. I didn't know that. Yeah, well, man. If all stages are legal, then that even better supports the point that people should be picking their characters before the stage. I guess if you want hey look man, it's like English class with me, dog. You wanna make you can make any point you want. You tell me I should go eat rocks. Back it up. Back to evidence? I, I just said something, and instead of answering what I said, you made it about the semantics involved, and it's not. I didn't make it about anything, and I don't even know if you heard what I just said, but, uh, I didn't, you I didn't hear you say anything. You just tell me what's up now. I didn't hear you say any evidence, I heard you say that. There is no evidence aside from the game itself, man. And also the way that people have played it, like, and, and the way that people have played it independently from one another, and how they've all sort of, like, uh, agreed on a certain set of one another. Like that a... make the most sense. Yeah, I know, bro. You just said because all stages are legal, that is my I argument. Think, well, I think it's okay to have your idea of how this game can best be played, but you still have to weigh it against the way that everybody else plays it. Yeah, no shit. And but that that alone doesn't give you the right to alter the rules of a tournament just because you don't believe. Give anybody done. else the right to come in and tell me how to operate my tournament. So this is what's gonna happen, Studs. So you're going to play your matches with your rule set. Everyone else is gonna play the rules that we've all been playing forever. And then when your game comes around, they'll play by your rules. But no one else is gonna play by those rules if you're outside the game. You see what I'm saying? Well, if if and when we get to the point where prizes are rewarded. Um, and all the matches are recorded, if that happened, it would be a very poor choice to just openly violate the rules of the tournament. Uh, I'm just saying that's so that's how I am 99% sure it's going to go down. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's how I would solve the problem. Justification you could have for that behavior, though. What, are you guys advocating that behavior? Advocating what behavior? Openly violating the rules of a tournament. No, they're just going to be gentlemen's rules yeah. instead of set no stud still rules. My rule set that says P players can agree to violate the rule. There is no such clause in my rule. I think you're making this too much about you. Yeah, like so it, it doesn't no, need to be an oligarchy. <laughs> players don't get to make up the rules in yes, a Yes, they do, stud. Right, yes, they do. Disagree. Have you heard of gentlemen's? Let's just agree to disagree. No, no, it's that, I mean, sure, but I'm just saying, like... Like, you can make the rules, like, stud still always wins. Like, you can make that a rule. Yeah, I, And I, people, I, people have to abide by that rule, right? Yeah, yeah, but yeah. if they're not playing against you, they don't have to abide by that rule. You 
guys are really silly. Um, I'm just saying, like, you're making this, like, really inclined to help you, is what I'm seeing. I don't understand why. Because you wanted to play on Dreamland against Fire Blasters Mario, which would have, in turn, helped you, right? That's what I'm seeing, at least. I'm just seeing rules being created to help you because you're the tournament organizer and you want to get like okay K Kira made a tournament 2v2's tournament and he placed the top four teams on one side of the bracket and the bottom four teams on the side of the bracket that means that he is trying to sway the tournament in his favor that's what I'm seeing a similar like thing happening here Oh, okay, so not only is this all about me, this is what y'all are saying, not only is it all about me now, but I'm trying to make the rules in my favor. Just think about it this way, Stud. Like, look at the characters that we're playing right now. Say Shears chose Ness, and then Fire Blaster had the chance to, you know, to choose a stage. Why would he not choose Saffron City? Like, if you had that power, if you had that choice because you lost the previous round, why would you not do that? I, yeah, and then I, that would be a huge not, disadvantage. I don't know much about the Ness Yoshi guy. Just think about it, man. Just okay, like, Ness can't do his up B when he's in the corridors of well, Saffron like, City. Ness is better on Saffron than you guys win the argument. No, 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 no. Ness is bad on Saffron because he can't use his up B in the corridors of the, uh, uh, the platform. Uh, yes, you guys win the argument about all of this. Do you see what we're saying in this instance, Studstill? I don't understand how that fucking instance is relevant. It's one instance of many. It's relevant in the context of the rules that you're proposing. Alright, just stop. Just full fucking stop. Okay, I mean, if, Can I just talk for 10 if seconds? we're getting to the point like where we don't have the ability to have an intellectual conversation based on your idea, then I guess we should stop. But I don't. I, I just need you to see that it's not about you, and we're not trying to disagree with you because you are you. We're disagreeing because we've been playing this game, and we have this experience, and we know what would happen if the rules were changed in this very specific way. Let me know what I can talk. I'm, my sentence is finished. Okay. First off, I would appreciate you saying that I can't handle intellectual debate. If somebody says something like, can I talk for 10 seconds? I don't know why you'd interpret that as, I can't handle intellectual debate. So that's rude. I don't appreciate it. Alright, sorry for being rude. What's your second point? My second point that I was going to say is, as far as I can tell from y'all's arguments, which I don't think are very coherent, because every time I say something, y'all shift another point. Right. But I think that the base, the most severe argument we're having right now, if I could sum it up, is that I don't have the right to make the own, the rules in my tournament. No, you do have the rules. You do have the right to make the rules in your tournament. You guys are saying that player, two players in a tournament, have the right to just agree to change the rules to whatever they'd like. Is that y'all's point? If you want to make a tournament that is... Accessible. accessible to all players or the wide variety the most population of players you should make it with the most fair rules do we have to have this conversation or can i just go ahead and say i don't care about making it accessible you can if you if we have that if, if we're not gonna have the conversation and all you have to say in order to not have the conversation is just to disagree then go right ahead and do that well i mean i don't i care about making it as having the best ssb competition i don't really Care about accessibility. Then shouldn't the best SSD competition be cool. most fair to all the characters that people have to choose from? Alright, can we just move away from accessible? I don't know. Start your argument over if you want. I this this argument hasn't gotten like hasn't jumped places, it's just been built on. It started yeah, it started getting built on an assumption two seconds ago of something like if I wanted to make the tournament accessible. I don't care about that for rulemaking purposes. Yeah, I'd, I'd like to make it accessible in some ways, but that doesn't factor into the rules for me. So, can, did you have another point to make? I mean, obviously you do, you probably changed the point you were making. And like, just... do you want to make a tournament that no one wants to go to? Can you guys argue the point? I can, can or two, can <laughs> That's two a good players, point. Can two players That's have a point. the rules? I mean, I'm trying to make a good point. Like, why are rules made in the first place? So the players have to obey. Them. No. Okay. Um. 
What? I mean, that's something that rules do, but it's it's more in the interest of the context of the game and the players playing it and what they're playing on. Wouldn't you say that's kind of a meta-analysis of how any given set of rules function, but the primary function of rules is to tell the players what to do? I guess you can see it that way, but for me, the, that's just how I define the word rule and not so much how I define the rules of Smash. I mean, rules are kind of independent of I mean, we can definitely argue about what rules are, but I'm You can make in. any freaking rule you want and people have to abide by it. That doesn't mean it's a good rule. Okay, so we can agree that players have to abide by rules. Uh, they should abide by the rules if they agree to the tournament, yeah. Does it seem fair that as tournament director I would DQ any player I found to be in willing intentional violation? You can do that, that sure, but stuff. then or someone's going to go ahead and make a tournament where people like the rules, and they're gonna it's stop right. going to yeah, these tournaments. That's not an argument, but that's, but that's a good argument. point. No, it's a good point, but it's not an argument. If I say you can eat turkey sandwiches, I think they're awesome. How does I think this have to do with great with rocks? And I eat one. Then if I and if you go, no, look, man, no one's gonna buy them from your store. That doesn't mean that I don't think they're awesome and I can't eat them. I grow weary of this analogy. I don't see the. I grow so weary of the ability to. I'm sorry. Like try to stay to the scope of the conversation, not so much about turkey sandwiches. Yeah, it's not always about turkey sandwiches. <laughs> I know, that's why. I, I, I'm trying to help you, Stud, so I'm trying to make this tournament yeah, no, available and accessible to everyone in, in a wide variety of people, not just people that want to abuse character selection and stage selection, because that's what it's coming to, it seems like. I, I don't know, I don't know what to say, man. Like, like I if I see you pick a character, out. and I know that character isn't as good on this stage, I'm gonna pick that stage, because it's gonna be favorable to me. And right. I don't think the game the should point. be like that. Now we're back to the point. We're back to the rule that you, the, you the example of the rule that you want to change. No, do you get to pick this? No, this is the debate. Which advantage exists? The advantage where the guy who's lower seed gets to know what the other player's character is when he picks the stage, or does the guy that's higher seed get to know what the lower seed's picking the stage is before he picks his character? Those are the two options up for debate. Can we agree on that? Yeah. Okay. You guys can talk for a minute. If we're in agreement on that, I'd like to hear what you think. I, I, I missed that part, sorry. I was looking at the players. I think I Killer plays somebody now. I don't know who won even. Fire Blaster won. Oh, he did. Oh, oh wait. No, sorry. Shears won. I'm sorry. Wait, no. Fire Blaster was Yoshi, right? He, well, I don't know. They both play Yoshi. Fire Blaster won. Fire Blaster won? I thought so. That was confusing because Shears was Captain Falcon. Yeah, we got. By the way, guys, we we gotta hash the after this tournament. We gotta hash this argument out on on whatever board. My vote is to keep it the way it always has been. Yeah, no, but I mean, we got to take this to the actual arena. Man. That's my vote. Yeah. Um, okay. I mean, that's good, man, and I totally respect that. All like, right. That's awesome. <laughs> what is the way it's always been that you're advocating? All right. Okay. This someone in the stream has a really valid point, and you might not like it, but I'm gonna read what he said. God, he said, David, stop making me out to be an asshole, man. I'm, no, what? I'm just you, saying, like, what the community, in. like, what other people's input is. It's and not I just about us three. It's about everybody. You Can opinion. you read this to me? Yeah, it says, who wants to play in a fascist tournament? If the rules are bad, who is going to want to play in that tournament? Again, you're presupposing my rules are bad. Yo, that... the revolution's in the chat room. Like, <laughs> Homeboy is presupposing my... Yeah, no, who would play in a bad tournament? Yo, Who would whatever. play in a tournament where the it's rules are unfair? That's rhetoric, dog. I don't know. I'm not no. saying, oh, great. What do you want me to say? I'm not arguing that bad and unfair rules are a good idea. Okay, like, well, we're saying this rule is on. a bad idea, man. I'm trying yeah, to help dude. you. Yeah, then fucking say it's a bad idea. Don't make some stupid point about it. Nobody's going to play in a tournament with bad dude, ideas. Dude, if we thought that saying it was a bad idea was enough to convince you of that, we wouldn't have had this whole conversation, but you, it's to keep, like... Right, but the next level is to convince me why bad ideas are bad. We, like, I, I hope you know that, that answer. Oh.
Load up. Time for that. Load up. Are we streaming this? I really hope so. Is yeah. Oh yeah. To Code oh. Revolution, like right now. I gotta, I gotta open up Stream Chat if some people are, are getting. We got viewers. Blast, it, it's not. It's Canute banned. I don't want to deal with Canute tonight. No, no one's banned from my chat. No thing. Except for people that spam like ads, they get banned. All right. Well, if he starts talking shit, I would appreciate you banning. Him. Where is Code Revolution? How can I talk to him? What the fuck? Okay, so let's let's count the things we're in agreement on to be positive. No, I don't want to. <laughs> bad ideas are bad. We're all in agreement. All right, that's that. pretty meta. That's extremely <laughs> meta. That's like your favorite thing. You know, bad bad rules are both bad ideas and bad themselves. We're in agreement on that. Tournaments with bad rules are. We'll just go ahead and say this is. Bad. I would say unattractive would be the best word for it. Okay, and fascists are bad, um, but different than communists who are maybe not bad, and socialists who are, you know, the jury's still out. The only <laughs> fascist is a really good word. It's not really That's a good word for what he's talking word. about. But a lot of people misuse it to mean simply communist or socialist or. I would say that here it's an interesting application because fascism, I would like, it's more about nationalism than communism and socialism. Let's have, let's take a step back then and have that debate. I believe in a strong, I don't believe in the tournament organizer, uh, even verbiage. I like the stronger, I, and again, coming from poker and pool, uh, t TD, but nobody abbreviates it. It's just tournament director, or director. But um, because I, I guess, I don't know, man, just from how the organizer functions in that kind of environment. But to me, organizer is a weaker word. Um, but yeah, I believe in the strong tournament director system. Like when you sign up for a tournament, you're agreeing to the rules. If the rules say, you know, some whatever the rules say goes. The director can change the rules anytime he wants. Well, so here's the hierarchy is number one is the fucking living human being that's in charge. Yeah, so that it can be fluid. Um, but yeah, the, the rules are a contract between the players and the tournament director. And sure, yeah. in case of emergency or some kind of insane situation like a you come to your point. Right. Um, my point is I believe in the absolute authority of the tournament director. I do believe in a fascist tournament director. All right. Well, that's like one of the easiest things I can ever disagree with ever. Oh, you think these things should be voted on mid-tournament? No. <laughs> what? Mid-tournament? No. That that's a that's a recipe for disaster. I mean that's what we're talking about. What? what? Well, that would be just that would be that would totally unnecessary. I'm it, saying I wouldn't even rules, say it's a waste of time. What are you arguing against? By fascist, I mean that the rules. Gotta argue everything. I can't just say anything. Wait, I said they're fascist in the the tournament director sets the rules and that's what they are for the duration of the tournament, no matter I what. I think in the interest of keeping your tournament attractive and. And also making it fair that you shouldn't alter things that work. Yeah, no one's talk. Wait, oh, okay. You're talking about in general, man. Now I'm still in the point of the rules, you know, changing and whatnot, and also the yeah. order that you proposed. Okay, that so was a great you're, sentence. Why? Why should I respect your rules as established? I don't know because you like me as a person, I guess. I don't like. <laughs> I don't like anybody that. Much. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't base. Maybe, okay, okay. Maybe because, like, the players that haven't played this game for longer than you, whether or not you're older than no most of them. No one's been playing this game for longer than me. I, I, it, All right, at a competitive level for a longer time. Longer than you. We'll I mean, if you want to make some kind of, like, insult and call me a casual, Umbra, you can go ahead, but no one has been playing this game for longer than me. They can have been playing it for as long. That's possible. But due to the linear flow of time... Well, what about the pa the Japanese people that got it six months earlier than us? There you go. I am wrong, and now I will not say that anymore without the Japanese people writer. But um, I don't count <laughs> J-version as the game. When I say the game, I'm talking about you. So that's why I was wrong. But yeah, correct. I think it's much less important to be right or wrong in this and just to talk about what works and what does not and what favors a player over another. And well, how the rules should avoid favoring players over another.
Well, you're the one that retreated to the people who've been playing the game for longer than you defend, which is pretty weak, but... I'm not going to stay there for very long, I promise. All right, we're so killers let's, here. Uh, what, What's the matchup, by the well, way? I mean, obviously you don't know. So I here's a, the changes I've made to the, your rules. Are first off, everything's best of five. I like that. Everything? No. Except for except so for losers, all right? All of yeah. winners' side is best of five. Yeah, even all, grand finals. All of losers' side is best of three until you get to the semis and the final. And those are best of five again, even on loser's side. The, uh, I'll allow it. The grand final, also, these matches are five stocks, unless both players agree to seven. I don't think... Wait, why would anybody agree to seven? You know, me and LD, I mean, mostly that's there. Uh, I'm the only one that uses that rule, but I think uh, LD yes. has said... LD has said, uh, you know, he'll play with anyone that wants to play on seven. He'll do it. Yeah, yeah, because he likes to play that kind of game. He also likes to play the game, though. I mean, he has no reason to disagree because usually, if he's gonna win, he'll do it in seven stocks or five oh, stocks or three that's stocks. That's a change. But so grand finals to wrap up this little bunch of candy. Uh, grand finals is either best of five seven stock or um, best of seven five stock, and I will tell you that. Uh, except for the times I've been in Grand Finals, they've all been best of seven fives. But it's up to the players to choose one. Why can't I pull up the chat room? What the fuck? What do you think about that, man? Hang on, sorry, I was trying to log into Twitch. I saw a group revolution appear. Oh yeah, you like that guy? I do. Okay. There we go. Man, I can't log in for some reason. Umbra, can you type into the chat room to tell uh, yeah. Revolution to log on to Skype, please? I can't right now. I don't want to like mess the game. Right. I'm not hosting the call, so you should be able to add. He just had some shoulder surgery, he's probably not feeling good. Uh, I mean, we don't get along at all, it's a terrible idea. This killer fox, though. Let's see this too often. Yeah. Alright, what's going on? Of course not. Uh, six viewers, so... Iron Blaster Killer, okay. <coughs> Alright, so what do you think, You about best of five, best of seven, maybe? What do you think? A good thing? I think best of five is the most um, succinct. Probably the... I, actually, I, I would even say best of four might be better. If I, if I had my way, they'd all be best of seven, seven, seven. Really? Yep. That's almost too long. That would take six hours. Yeah. Especially if you ha if you can choose from any stage, then that's going to take a long time. Okay, let's, let's, let's not get blurry. Am I right? I don't know. We're not. We haven't addressed that. Alright, so what do you think? So those are good? Those are mostly okay? I think best of five, winner side, best of three, loser side, and grand final should be best of five. What, what was the difference? The only difference is just changing grand finals to best of five. From yeah, what your it's, rules uh, are now. It's, I just, I just want to have these be a bigger deal, and we run it once a week. Um, some some people I know is a big deal to them, and I like I like making it a big deal, especially because we're gonna have um, prizes attached. To it at some point. <coughs> you know, I don't just want it to be a crap. I think we should just like make a poll and see what most people say. Good idea. It doesn't it doesn't work very well. Um, I'm gonna do all that, you know, in mass once we get the site better form. Uh, but no, Smashboards is a really ineffective form. No, I'm not saying use Smashboards in general, I'm just saying ask people that we play with. Right, uh, yeah, so exactly, so I'm just going to, uh, 
Oh, ask people that do play in the tournaments a lot what they would but, like. Uh, so when the site gets in a better form and I can more easily contact. Basically, the message we did a lot of work with the ranking of the main man, but we haven't ported the message system over really fully the PM system. Okay, there's many ways to ask people this question though. Right, yeah, yeah, the, the, uh, the, uh, the site is obviously. It doesn't matter how Umber is saying, it's just important to do it. Yeah, I'm agreeing with that in full. Is that, how is that not clear? I'm just... Uh, Umber's really good at completing my thoughts, so I'm really just trying to help him out. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I already heard what he was... Yeah, I got it. I was just like... I don't know, it sounded like you thought I was... <laughs> Wait. Uh, okay. Oh, this match is so... Wait, so are you watching this right now? Uh, yeah. I'm like... This, <laughs> this is really cool. But, uh, okay, so, uh, yeah, all, all stages are legal. <laughs> What'd you say about all stages? All stages, that's the other change. All stages are legal. I think it's, I think it's, that's a curious idea, but it just, if you're gonna make that rule, you should make that choice made after your characters are chosen. For the obvious uh, that's reason. What, um, did you just speak? No, 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 before bef devastating. before characters are chosen. Oh, wait, what did I say? After, After characters. My bad. Yeah. Okay, right, right, we're good, we're good. I knew, I knew that, I knew this, I knew something was going to Can you hear me, like, shuffling around my room right now? No, you're fine. <laughs> Alright. And, it, and it's okay. Alright, alright. All right, so yeah, we can uh, we can play some Smash after this tournament. Yeah. Okay, good. I, I really just want to uh, I really just want to fight you guys on the Smash field. Ooh, shield break. You should you should play Fox like this, man. Right? I never like I never like Fox. So many more choices. I love Fox. Fox, Fox is great. Do you play him? Do you? A little bit, yeah. Who are your other mains? I would say um, Captain Falcon is my main and Samus is my second. Okay. And uh, it depends on the day though. Like sometimes Link is my second, to be honest, but. Usually Samus. Yeah. But I, I can play Fox alright. And I'm playing Yoshi more often too. Yoshi's hard. Yeah. Yoshi's fun. Especially if you can get some combos down. Yeah. I just think it's important to understand the game from the perspective of Fox and Yoshi. Yeah. Yoshi. Yoshi's great. Like, uh, like that aspect of Mario. Yeah. Mario feels really sluggish a lot of times, but he can be really fast. Too. Yeah. I play on console with the Mario main pretty often, and it's always it's it's always nice actually. Like, Who is that? Uh, his name is Basic. He plays online. Oh, I know. Recently. Yeah, we know Basic. Yeah, he's got an account on the site, so I'm gonna make it out of the tournament. He's going to Apex and probably Smash Con. Yeah, I really want to go to Smash Con. It's in my state. I should be able to go. Were you at Apex, Umbra? No. Were you? Yeah. I just wanna make sure I didn't miss it. 
Sorry? Dude, Q was in the most legit hotel room I think Smash will ever have. I was in like five of the most ho legit hotel rooms, man. I don't, I don't know, man. I don't know how you could ever have a view that good at another Smash. That room. is definitely true. That was crazy. And the windows work, man? Like, that was just nuts. <laughs> you could open the windows? Yeah. Yes, dude. It was like a non smoking room, but it had opening windows. Huh. But either way, just for the experience of having open windows at 140 feet is awesome. Fire's got his Yoshi turned on right now. Yeah. Yeah, if you're going for ledge hogs against Yoshi, you need to go up the fairy and yeah. the most invincibility frames. Awesome, man. Hey, Q. Lose where, where are you? Where are you at, Q? Harrisburg. Yeah. Capital of Pennsylvania. No, I know. Bro. Hey guys, like, I don't know, man. I'm not trying to brag or anything, but if you're ever on who wants to be a millionaire, man, just let me know and I'll give you my digits. <laughs> Dude, I know everything about geography. Yeah, me too. Uh, wow. Geography. Um, not everything, but a great deal. I, could go, I, could, I might be able to capital tango with you. I know the capital is pretty good of all the countries. Hey, Q, bro. Yeah, man. I don't know. I don't know too many. Like, we uh, we should maybe work out. I don't know, man. You know, let me. We'll, we'll talk through PM, but I'm gonna be passing pretty close by you. When? Um, my grandfather's funeral is Monday. Monday? Yeah, so Are you I'm taking gonna... the turnpike or 81 or something? I'm just driving 95 up. 95? Yeah, but so like where it is is, let's see, what's Bal- what's- how far away is Baltimore from Harrisburg? An hour and 15 minutes? An hour and, an hour and a half maybe? Then I'm an hour and a half, then I'm an hour and a half. You're, you would be an hour and a half almost just total out of my way. Okay. So that's not bad at all, man, if you want to get your it. They're in like LDE and Shears and Dark Horses territory there. Oh, I'll be, well, I'll be going straight through them unless I, I actually, so like, I don't know if you know the route, but basically if I can, if I want to save some money on tolls, I might take 81 through Harrisburg. There are no tolls on 81. Yeah, well, I used to take that when I lived in Pitt. Okay. Um, I'd split off and go through Morgantown. Yes, that's 79. Oh. Yeah, coming from the south. Just because you didn't want to take a turnpike? Oh, dude, yeah, so I might be driving straight through Harrisburg on the way, I mean, but on the way back, Ooh. I can do where I want. Okay. Well, if it's a Monday, then that's gonna be pretty tough for me because I have class in the morning and then work at night. Alright, yeah, um, well, it would probably be Tuesday. Tuesday, I pass in the morning and work at night. Oh, that sucks. I know, man. That's <laughs> why I'm only on Smash at night. Oh. We'll see, man. I'll, I'll hit you up, but yeah, maybe our first man. Yeah, I, mean, I always have Skype on my phone running. If I just have to stop by for, uh, you know, one or two console games for 20 minutes, that'd we'll, be alright. That might be worth it. Eat some turkey and rock sandwiches. <laughs> <laughs> I hear they're the best. Get the fuck out of <laughs> Who was that? We were in the elevator in Apex and I like just answered this question that Stylus Land asked me like five hours before. And uh, and he was like, dude, what the fuck is wrong with you? I don't know, man, I just don't forget shit. Number, are you in college? 
Yeah. What are you studying? Uh, geography and computer science. So I can do geography intelligence. Wow. Work for the National Reconnaissance Office. Look at some satellite imagery, maybe? Are you doing a lot of GIS work with your major? I'm going to be, yeah. Not yet. Who's that? General Instruments? Like geography information software? In Systems, I think. Yeah. It's like what people look at the satellites and like, uh... This is the, like, terrain here, and... Blah, blah, blah. They just draw maps and stuff. So, are, are you pretty strong in geology? Uh, mm, uh, no, not really. I would say that. That's probably my best. I think that would probably be my best subject, at least at the moment. Well, I don't know. I don't know. Both of you guys kind of rock. Really? Geology? Uh, yeah. That's pretty cool. It's, it's weird. <laughs> I actually, it does, it does me to be a little salty because he once tried to like, out, tried to once outdo me with uh, his salt jokes. <laughs> and I ended up going uh, ge geologically ham on him. Uh, I'm, 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 I'm at plus one right now. I mean, I just said, you know, both of you guys are talking about how strong you are in geology. I was like, you know, nobody, nobody heard my punch. So. Oh, my bad, dude. <laughs> string, like Moe's string? Like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, uh, Q, no, Q busted. You didn't, I don't know, you didn't pwn me in clever, uh, style. You, I was impressed because you busted out, um, some actual properties of, of salt. Yeah, I think it was salt. <laughs> that wasn't necessarily a clever pwn, but it was a pwn. My geology professor has pretty high standards. It was, it was a pretty tough, tough semester, I'll be honest. Yeah, well, you know, with all that softer stuff, I mean, it's important to memorize. Oh, you mean like mica and gypsum <laughs> and selenite and and oh well, talc. you know, and talc. That's what I was thinking. I meant like <laughs> when my pillow's in the laundry, you know. I What's the one that starts with the P? Oh, uh, like volcanic rock. Oh. When when um. You know, when uh, I need some, or, or, uh, pumice, that's what I'm thinking of. What is yeah. it? Pumice. Uh, pumice. You, the the vesicular thing, salt. The holes in it. Yeah, pumice. It, it's, uh, this, the it's salt. The is that the salt? It's like rock foam, basically. Yeah. Umbra, did you lose? Yeah. yeah, I'm not in grand finals. Uh, warrior lost to fire. Really? Killer already beat Fire? Oh, War really? Sheer? Uh, fire Blaster beat Sheer? Yeah. Wow. Cool. Came back. Ooh. You lost him in Winners. No, I mean, I'm just saying, Q, you know, like, when, when my pillow's out of commission, I go and grab my geology book and rest my head on. <laughs> Right. Maybe throw a biology one in there on top just to really get a nice cushion. Yeah, this semester I'm in historical geology and every week we go on a field trip. So no, I'm just kidding. Is that bullshit? Geology's hard. I'm being an asshole. That's total. I know, I know. It's, I'm just talking. <laughs> no, no, I mean, but seriously, that's total hard science, right? I, I can show you some of the pictures I took this week. I mean, geology, it's all experimental and. and... Right? Like, that's hard shit? Real data? It's just, yeah. It's just, um, it's like... That's real science. My professor's like a witch doctor. He really is. I don't know, man. That sounds more shady. Like, soci- you know, like, sociology is not a real science. Uh, yeah, I can't- I mean, I- I'm only s like, disagreeing with that from the standpoint as- as an anthropologist, but... Because most- most anthropologists hate sociology. Yeah, that's, sociology is the softer version of, of right of anthropology. It's just more philosophical, I would mm -hmm. say. Like it's less about what's happening and more about like. For those why. of you on the stream who don't know, philosophical is a very nice way for saying horseshit right there. But, <laughs> that might be true. Uh, Q's being very eloquent towards our softer friends. I sometimes time. use words that mean things. Yeah. Yeah, well, you know, I mean, it's, it's our brethren in the meteorology department, you know, rather than the, uh, the weatherman department. <laughs> okay, 
Yo, let me show you this picture of the mountain here in Pennsylvania. I'll add it to the... No, I was real into rocks as a kid, man. I had a lot of rocks. I mean, I, I drive on this road a lot. <laughs> and I go hiking on this mountain almost, I don't know, not weekly, but pretty close to it. And, um, man, can I not add a picture of my phone? Hmm. Sheer is coming back. I'm not watching. I need to watch this. Never mind, I said it's got the week. <laughs> Sheer's up 2 1 in games. Yeah, Q, you should hit me up on Or no, Fire Blaster, man. Dude, you should uh, hit me up on Facebook, bro. I have, um, I use it as kind of a photo dump, but uh, I've written a lot of little notes attached to most of them. Okay. I got a couple of cool out, like, I don't know, I just have very general albums, but like, I think the one that uh, we were talking about is like nature up close or something. So. I didn't know I wasn't added on Pete with, uh, I didn't know you didn't have my Facebook. Let me start that up since over again. Let me yeah. log in. Why? That keyboard? Yeah. I still think Twilight Sparkle has the best DI that like, took the crown from Killer. I haven't played. Yeah, you gotta play Twilight Sparkle. She's insane. Oh, she. I've, I've only played her a couple times. Who does she play? Uh, Ness. Uh, Jigglypuff. All on Mario. Keep... Who else? Does she play with, on the keyboard or on Yeah, her? apparently on keyboard. Wow. Yeah. Ah. Who just won that? Was it Sheer? Missed it. I think it was Sheer. Still, so are you watching the stream? No. Yeah, it was Sheer. Or not sheer, why? It's a fire blaster. Same as well. Fire Blaster wins, it'll get reset. I don't, I don't know, man. I think that I think that I just I don't like it when people um, in where I come from, but I, I do come from a much different mentality than a lot of greater video. Just like all of the terms, it's not so much the words and the semantics, but it, it comes from the deeper kind of rift between where I believe and what people believe, and that comes out in the words. Just like reset. I would just, I would never say like reset. What would you say? I don't know, it's just, it not, it's not really important, it's more just kind of important that like, the, I mean I'll answer you, but it's like the fact that I don't think, oh, this is better, but I just think it's more clearly like, oh, reset's wrong, because it kind of like, if he wins, it'll reset, like, it doesn't really represent to me what just happened, um, either in the context of the tournament or even in that one specific set. I get that it's kind of accurate in some kind of two-set 
uh, set where you're just talking about like you schism off the grand finals from everything else. And so uh, going in, I guess it's kind of a reset. I, I, it's just it's hard for me to. Wow. Highlight. But I, a Q, I would just say, I would just talk about it in a different manner. I would just feel like if Fire Blaster wins, we'll go on to grand, uh, you know, to grand finals. My favorite thing about words is the way that you can say, like, entire things like that with just one word. Well, yeah. Sure. I and mean, that doesn't guarantee you any more accuracy, just using one word for the plot. Where there are misunderstandings created by the usage of those words is where people need to begin to learn what they mean in the context that they're used in. Yeah, words. It's not a limitation. That's words just that's words. just the, the jargon of that's a, that's a definition of jargon to me. <laughs> like, right, I mean, a lot of people don't understand how difficult words are. I mean, reality is reality. It's concrete. It exists. That is definitely true. But this is beginning to get a little tautological, if you ask me. It's really more important to great terms that can be quickly understood by people. You know, uh, especially like from a wide base of of languages that are being spoken. You know, like the, we're not English is the only language spoken by people who play this game. Q, my the problem with it wasn't that it was one word, it's that it was one inaccurate word. I think reset's a really good way to What's say What's a better it? word? Alright, well what point are you making with re- what is resetting? I'm defending reset. Yeah. The you definition of reset. Reset in a sentence. Wow. Like, I mean, you use it to tell me what's resetting. What is being reset? If Fire uh, Blaster and Well, if Fire- isn't Fire Blaster from Losers? Yeah. So it, it's reset because Fire Blaster yeah. has already lost a game, and is, Shears yeah. has not lost a game. I understand. Shears gets sent. Or I'm not sorry. I'm sorry. Killer gets sent to losers bracket, but because they're the last two people, they just have to play another set, right? All right. So I understand the situation. Everybody, okay. yeah, you're correct. Everybody understands the situation. I'm asking you, what is when you say it gets reset? What is it? The, the the bracket, the whole bracket gets reset. But it, it, to me, that that would mean we'd start all the way over. No, that, I mean to you maybe, but that's that's not what's happening, obviously. <laughs> yeah, well, you just said the whole bracket would get reset. But there's only two people left in the bracket. That doesn't mean that if one person wins in grand finals, the loser of, you know, from the loser's bracket, that everybody gets to play again. That's not how, I mean, you can make that the rule of your tournament if you want. I mean, you know, that's <laughs> what the word reset means to me. I, so, I am trying to explain to you what the word means in this context. It's reset from the finite point at which it is now. I know, right, my objection is the fact that the word reset is not ever... In, in it's not a total in, reset. It's just a bracket reset. Yeah, but it's not a bracket reset. Let me know when you think of a better word for it. Go on. First I mean, it is a... Match. It's a, a... A set reset? That doesn't make any sense, though. Right, that's why I object. So that's why they just use the single word, because saying set reset would be... Too much. Right, so you just eliminate this word and you lose that contextual, and now, now, now the next thing you know, you're saying the whole bracket is reset. But, like, I don't know, I'm not really afraid of anybody not understanding it. Reset's a pretty basic idea, and it, it's a pretty, it's a pretty, it's um, and I would say that reset is a pretty, um, that's what I'm looking for. A visual word, it really is. There's no impetus to have these words, though, so if they're wrong, why ever use them? Man, why did they go to Hyrule? What the fuck? Oh, fuck yeah, we're gonna get a real game. Yeah, this is a real game, alright. Uh, so perfect I want I want I want to challenge I would challenge both of you to a real match please. I have, have either of you ever watched um Boom's hour long Yeah I mean I I looked at the video I didn't watch him sitting on the top platform for 45 yeah. minutes that If up. that's your question <laughs> Yeah this, what, what's so please, please don't bring that match up Well I mean I'm that's bringing it up now because of what's going on now I've been never been more disappointed by I, I don't want to talk about it. Well, I mean, are you watching the stream right now? I don't I don't want to talk about it in that context either, because I'll end up ragging on Fire Blast. Oh, Mario's going to get real big. I don't want to rag on Fire Blast. Mario's about to get real big. What? Have doing? you ever seen this? This glitch? Yeah. 
Oh, he gets really big. He just like gets oh, to the side of the screen. That's crazy. You just back roll into that wall over and over and over. But honestly, man, with Killer versus Fire Blaster, it's gonna kind of be a test of like who can run away the best. What? Or or they could just have a stalemate right and not do anything the whole time. Yeah, I know, and that's that's not Hyrule's fault. It is. Uh, it sort of is. is. It's not Hyrule's fault. Oh my god, Stun. Like, what else are you gonna blame Whose fault is it? I'm not gonna tell you whose fault it is. Yeah, because you don't have any other better answer, man. It's the players! It's the players! No! No! 